Hello everyone, how are you going? Welcome back to Bloons Tower Defense 6, where on my road to Impopable, I think it's good to be checking out double HP mobs first. Now obviously I know the map and I know the kind of beta that needs to be used. I will be starting out with a nice juicy sorter right there. In terms of my free glue gunner, however, I'm a little bit torn because I could place it here, that's plenty of range. That also gives you a lot of track coverage down here, gives it plenty as well, but it feels like a bit of a waste to not be placing it somewhat at the start. So maybe if I can just squeak it, there we go. That'll be able to see everything I wanted to. But now thinking into the future, what what am I going to be needing? I mean, I can only imagine I will be grabbing a banana farm and then I guess because it's Moabs, maybe unless they're restricted, no, that's good. Moab Maulers and Moab Assassins are going to be massive in this, I can only imagine. And actually, especially the Moab Assassin ability because I can just one-shot so many things as well as Cripple Moab, May Mob, all those good things. I mean, honestly, just the usuals like embrittlement and everything like that, but definitely just want to be prioritizing banana farms and Moab Assassins. Here we go, ready for my second banana farm, but I do quickly want to see if I was to yeah, put it there, then could I fit a drill? It. I can only imagine I would be able to, especially if I favor it in that corner. So that should be one, two, three, four, just fine. Actually, if I was to place it in the bank center of the middle one, would I be able to get six in there or just four? I mean, I don't really know if six is going to be overkill. I definitely want a lot of money, but I would love to see how high the druid's ability can go. I mean, now honestly looking at that, I'm wondering if I can even fit a banana farm in there. Surely I can. You know what? I'm just going to chuck that down. And I think, oh, I just can't afford it by $2. Of course not. There we go. Now I can. And let's just see. Really? Wow, the druid is way more wider than I ever would have thought. What? Wait, hang on a second. Why does it need that much room? That is outrageous. I mean, actually, I better be careful because it is already around 27 and that is a decent amount of money still to save up, but I certainly don't want the mob to be cruising around the entire map at half health. But you know what? Like I said, there is actually plenty of money to be made before then, so I will just grab a fourth banana farm and that'll set me cruising along for the next very long time. So I think I'm just going to start by just getting one of them at least, see how the entire thing goes. Mob assassins, bigger bombs, all that good stuff. And so with round 39 coming to a close any second now, will I be able to afford I think so. That's seven and a half thousand. Oh, surely, surely, surely. I guess I'll get one and I'll place it. Yeah, right next door, why not? There we go. Let's just see. Ooh, ooh, yes. Easily done. Plenty of money. $400 left. I'll put you on strong as well, but honestly, I'm just going to immediately be using that ability and taking all those balloons out. Look at that lovely work. All right, well, even though I can't afford a banana plantation, I think I'm just going to be saving up for Jungle's Bounty because that gives me a hell of an ability to use. It should be any second now. Oh, I definitely do have to worry about those camos, though, because they will start being a little bit mean. So, eh, Wizard or Ice or something like that will be fine. Actually, thinking about it, I have no reason whatsoever to be worrying about round 50. I've already got two Moab Assassins, and there's only ever two Moabs that basically come out one at a time. Well then, round 50, I'm poised and ready on the trigger, just waiting for these mobs to come out. Oh, there we go. Actually, I could see that time that it did have a bit more health. I mean, it didn't really matter because the Moab Assassins still just took it out, but I can notice, even with the glue and sorter and everyone else, that it does put up, I guess, double the fight. So like I said, working my way all the way up to Embrittlement, I do want to know though, or I do want to check out just what about the other two? Jeez, I just wanted to witness it a second time without using my abilities because those double or those pairs of Moabs just got shredded the first time I thought it might have been because of Moab Assassin, but no, just the ice and the tax. I do believe it is finally time for a village though, if I can find the right spot for it. Yeah, just I guess straight above there. Regrow blocker, of course, radar scanner, of course, and then bigger radius will come in about half a second here. There we go, look at that. See, as soon as it gets the tax, gone. Oh, hello there, of course, yeah, round 60. No, one of the banana farms went absolutely crazy, but look at it, it's just cruising, but not for very long, and I didn't even use my abilities. That is insane. Ice tower tag combo is just ridiculous. Honestly, look at that. Round 65. And yes, even though I do now have two druids, they're just holding it at the gate. No questions asked. It also very clearly shows me the difference between the top path and the bottom path. Look at the size of that circle. Honestly, you could probably fit nine or so banana farms in that if I really had the proper space for it. I mean, to be fair, I don't exactly feel as though I need another banana farm. I'm rolling in cash as is, but it's definitely good to know that if that's what I'm going after, bottom path it is. Where are you, round 70? Come on, send out these mobs that you're so proud of, double health and all. Come on. And that's a couple of regen balloons that don't do anything because of the village right there. Come on. Where are they? There they are. Wow. Do they even exist? Apparently not. Honestly, I think at this rate, it would just be worth me saving up for Super Brutal. Everyone in there with my three tacks, I could make it more, but everyone in there is doing so much damage for me, and I already nearly have 20 grand. I guess once I use my abilities as well, that'll just be boosted up like crazy. Well then, 25,000, two abilities to be used. There we go, 28,000 just like that, and oh, it is so close. I shouldn't be able to get it, maybe even by the end of this round. Oh, I can get the tax on for it. That would sort of be nice. Come on. There it is. Super Brutal, absolutely ruthless towards all those mobs now. I mean, to be honest, eventually I wouldn't mind checking out Ice and Pale, because it also 
seems as though it's a bit of a Moab icon, so maybe it does big damage to them as well, or I mean, it says it does. Honestly, with this kind of setup, I don't think I'm really feeling the effects of the double health mobs. I mean, as soon as they get into range of everyone, they're gone. Like, whether they're Moab, BFB, I mean, I haven't seen the Zom, that's soon, but I'm not worried. I mean, I guess I should have a look. Is there anything that I want? Maybe just a sniper just to make sure I stop that thing in its tracks. Honestly, actually, an engineer my girl would love to be able to squeak in somewhere. Where is he going to be in range of the tower, but not in the way of everyone else? Maybe, eh, eh, sure, you go down there. But I guess if nothing else, let's just use round 79 to save up a bit more money. I'll use the abilities, 720, 720, no worries. I'm already back up to eight, 18 grand. Okay then, is there anyone that I really do want to buy? Actually, there was. There was a sniper monkey that I want to put in range of you, just as far away as possible. There we go. All the money spent, but not even needed, because honestly, as soon as it gets in range of everyone, it's gonna be game over, I can only imagine. I'll send out the Phoenix, I'll send out Sordo as soon as I can. It's not even letting me just yet. There we go, finally. Broken down before it even came out the gate, and then it's going to be game over for the rest of those balloons. Wow, that was fast. I find it so ridiculous that my monkey star was the druid, just considering the fact that I had nothing to do with them for so long. Someone that I am missing, however, and I think that there was a perfect spot somewhere in there. If I just grab the banana first, come on, where is it? I know you're in there somewhere. Look at this. If I can find it again, it is pixel perfect. Oh, come on. Oh, there it is. My goodness, that is close. It has such a massive range, and someone was also telling me that maybe going faster throwing, if it's going to be doing a whole bundle of towers is better so i go top path all the way up to strongest stimulant and then bottom path easy i still can't really believe the fact that this is double hp mobs like i said it just does not feel it i'm not really being threatened i'm just going to grab the tax zone in a dollar come on here we go i thought i could afford it but there we go i mean at least now having those two tier fives right next to one another and also the mib round 90 ddts there they are just completely easily dealt with ah oh, but actually round 100 is going to be very interesting a double hp bad oh i I think actually I should be able to do it just based on how much damage I've been doing to everything, but geez, I guess, actually, I know what I want to be getting. A cripple mole will make a lot of difference. And then, hmm, what else? A glaive lord, a, a spectre, a super monkey. I mean, I've got options, but geez, it's going to be interesting. There we go. Like I said, cripple mole for that guy. I'll keep the abilities rolling as well. Just make sure that nothing is really sneaking through. I've got a couple of rounds, and so maybe... I really don't know. Like I said, what can I possibly get that'll help me out that much? Hello there. That's a decent amount of balloons. I've been trying to sneak through. So I think I will just look at going for a... Hmm, that's a shame that boomerang monkey can't go in there. What I was going to do is actually just place a village down there, get a bit more rigor blocker, radar scanner, all those good things, see how big the radius is, and then just work my way all the way up as high as I can. Oh, actually, is this going to be the end? I think it will. Look at that. I had a whole bundle of money, but I was just saving up for Glaive Lord, and I just needed a little bit sooner. Honestly, I can see that there are no mobs left on the screen screen, but I just really wanted to check out round 100, but I guess not today. Monkey Star was definitely the tax shooter. Look at that 400,000 pops. Man, it is always just amazing to me how you can go from relatively okay, and then you add in a couple of towers, so you think you'll be all right. You'll save up a little bit more, and then in that round, it kills you. But hey, I am certainly not too upset with the entire thing, considering I could have just gone and spammed bomb shooters everywhere, and I guess that could have done me a lot of damage. Not too good for balloons, but definitely good for moabs and things like that. So considering the main problem with this entire game mode was the fact that they were double health mobs, I think overall that is not bad going. But anyway, in saying that, taking one step closer to impoperable, I think I'm going to call it there. So thank you for watching this episode of Balloons How to Fend 6. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to do the YouTube algorithm things down below. Also, if this is the first video of mine that you are watching, then make sure to go check out any other ones I've done. Or hey, maybe you even just want to consider subscribing so that you don't miss another one of these in the future. But all in all, have a good one and see ya.